Are you a high performer because of your habits? Or are you a high performer in spite of your habits? If you were to list the things that you do consistently, especially on the bookends of your day, your morning and evening routine, the things that you do on a very regular basis, which percentage of those are helping you become the best version of yourself and which of those are hindering you? Which one of those are moving you in the right direction and which one of those are dragging you down? Here's your first actionable takeaway. I want you to write down a list of the things that fill your bucket. Mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. The things that charge you up, the things that give you energy, the things that make you smile, the things that add to your confidence level. I want you to write those things down. Then on the other side of the paper, with honesty and vulnerability, I want you to write down how you've been spending the bookends of your day how you've been spending your morning and evening routine. How have you been spending the first 60 minutes after you wake up and the last 60 minutes before you go to bed? And then to complete the audit, I want you to compare the two sides of the paper. Compare the two sets of notes. And I want you to ask yourself one of the most important questions you can ever ask yourself. Are you doing the things that you know you need to do to be your best self? Are you doing the things you feel you should be doing to become your best self? And I can almost promise you, even the highest performers in this room, if you do this with honesty and vulnerability, you're going to start to uncover what's called a performance gap. And a performance gap is the gap between what we know and what we do. And even the highest performers in the world have a series of performance gaps, but they have worked relentlessly to make those at a razor's thin edge. You need to start closing the gap between what you know you should be doing. Remember, you came up with this list. I didn't come up with it. You know that you need to do the things on the left side of the paper. Now it's up to you to make the time to prioritize yourself and emphasize self-care so that you start doing the things that are on the right side of the paper. And you don't have to change everything at once. Start to sprinkle some of the stuff from the left side over onto the right side, even if it's only five to 10 minutes at a time. But you owe it to yourselves, you owe it to your families, you owe it to the groups that you work with to show up to everything as the best version of yourself. And the only way you can do that is through your habits. The only way you can do that is by making the time to fill your own bucket. So those are our habits.